Was it the biggest shift of emotions you could ever feel? Ever. Like, it doesn't happen like that because we really thought we lost the game. I mean, that was a loss. Nobody, two seconds left, and we had 80 yards to go. They were playing. They had, like, six defensive backs back there deep. You know, that was, like, the most impossible thing that could happen. They tell me that you guys would work on that play to practice every Thursday, and it never worked. Oh, no, it never. It never worked. <laughs> and usually you're not backed up on the, on the, behind the 10-yard line either. You want to give yourself, try to throw it to the end zone at least, and there's no way we could, could even get close to the end zone. Maybe Jamarcus Russell might have thrown, did it throw it to the end zone. <laughs> when I looked up, I just saw our whole fan. I actually, Norman Lejeune was the first one I saw run onto the field, and I looked back again, I said, I, I know he didn't catch that ball, <laughs> and, and then scored. You know, looking back at the video and the, the clip of it, you know, you can see the excitement, and see the Kentucky fans and everything, but at the time, I don't think I noticed any of that. It was just weird, because yeah, literally one side of the field, where they'd thrown the ball from, is still celebrating Kentucky fans, they won. The other end of the field knows that LSU has actually scored, so we've won, and Still, the, half the team is still kind of in a fog. Did we really win this game? You know, we shouldn't have won almost. We were so ugly in the second half and played terrible. You know, some old guy is watching this and, you know, maybe had a heart attack, you know, when they knew that they were going to beat LSU. Oh, God, to know that you lost. I felt bad for that old guy. <laughs>